Starting this vlog off in the car like we always used to. Getting ready for a big drive, four and a half hours. Hazel's nap time right now, so hopefully she sleeps the majority, but, well, she does sleep the best in the car, so maybe she will sleep for like three hours. Could be, could be. I think we're ready to go. We're what? gonna stop and get big gulps. Why she hasn't are you had gonna one of tell those. everybody? She has not had one of those since we were pregnant, since she was pregnant. Yeah, I sometimes say we were pregnant, but then sometimes I think it's weird because like, yeah, he helped, but I was the one who was personally pregnant. I will mention as well as the Big Gulps, Kristen made us turkey sandwiches for the road so we don't have to stop at fast food and eat. Baby Hazel is almost asleep and I want to show you guys her before she falls asleep because she's being so good. Hi, baby. She's tired. She's tired. She is so ready to go to sleep, so I'm gonna be quiet and let her fall asleep right now. I was listening to a podcast and it talked about a child sleepwalking and how they can't control themselves and that, that, that. Well, it reminded me that last night Sean did his sleep talks with Sean. He often sleep talks and it's hilarious. And I would always write on Facebook like a little quote from the pages of Sean's sleep talks and then just do like a little play by play of what he did. Like sometimes he'll be like, the cheeseburgers, or like there's a fire at the end of the bed, or there's ants all over this bed. And he was like very passionate about, passionate about whatever he's hollering about. Or, but it's always nonsense I, and often it happens when I'm like kind of waking him up to stop snoring um, so last night I was just kind of like nudging him and because he was snoring and I didn't say anything because Hazel is in between us and I don't want to wake her up so he looks over and he's like like looking all over he always checks on Hazel so he was checking on her and, but he just kept on looking like looking 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 and like pulling back the covers and I was like what are you looking for or it, actually I didn't say anything first he's like where's the where's the <laughs> and he kept on doing this and I was like, I was like what and he goes I'm looking for the <laughs> is not having fun she called me to the back seat and I came I just wanted to show you how cute it is when she takes her little teething tabs I already gave her a couple and she can have up to three and I think she needs them because her teeth are so close to coming through do you want to show them how you take it you ready Do you like it? I just think it's so cute. She just takes it and just, I don't know. She doesn't fuss about it. She just kind of like, oh yeah, you like it, don't you? So now we just stopped at a rest area because Hazel was losing her mind. And now that we're here, she's done losing her mind. So what do we do? Hazel's gonna take us the rest of the way. <laughs> Be careful. Hey, no. She's trying to grab everything that's available. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh no, there's a storm coming and Hazel's not wanting to drive anymore. Oh no. All right, see that? We're gonna be driving right into this severe thunderstorm. I've never seen pink on the radar map before. This is gonna be crazy. 
it's getting dark out. We just went past one of those like road signs that tell you about construction or if there's amber alerts or something like that. Well, this one said tornado warning in effect. We might have to pull over if it gets too bad. It might be hailing on us. All right, we're gonna take note of the temperature right now. It's 86 degrees and we've got that straight ahead of us. I'm predicting a 15 degree temperature drop. What do you think? 10. 10? Let's see who's right. Fun fact though, when I was younger, I always wanted to be a tornado chaser. I'm an adrenaline seeker. And that seems like a big adrenaline rush. And it's starting to rain. But over here, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> I could leave the camera on the temperature gauge right now and you guys can watch it drop in real time. We're already down 10 degrees. trip's going well. We're about 19 minutes from Traverse City and about an hour from our destination. Well, we've made it to Grand Traverse Bay. All the water. It really has a ton of different tourist destination spots if you want. Big kind of, not mountains, but really big hills that you can go hike. They've got it. If you want open fields, they've got it. If you want boating, they've got it. <laughs> Michigan's a pretty all-around tourist state. But we want to leave. Yeah, but we want to leave. <laughs> if you grow up here, everybody wants to leave, it seems like. Unless you have a ton of money and you can just buy a home up here and live down south. like You can't beat Michigan summers, but you can beat Michigan winters for sure. Pit stop number two, stopping for food. I'm gonna get some pizza or grinders from Mancino's. Found it right off the lake here. Should be delicious. Hazel is eating a banana and smashing it into the table and Sean's battling on his phone. <laughs> organic and then it becomes even more organic with living organisms from the table. Bananas unite. Banana split. Peel. Banana. Peel. Peel. Banana. Peel. Banana. Peel. Peel. Banana. Banana to the left. Banana to the right. Peel your banana and oh take a bite. Go. Bananas. Go. Go. Bananas. Go. Bananas. Go. Go. Bananas. Sean looks really thrilled. I'm starving. Are you tired? Oh man, why is it not focusing? There we go. Are you tired? Starving and tired. Our food has arrived and it couldn't come at a better time. <laughs> I got the Italian grinder. And I got the chicken BLT. Look at all the lawn ornaments. Holy cow, my mom would love that place. You think California has wine farms? So does Northern Michigan. We've got it all, like I said earlier. That's a big wine farm. We have arrived at the bed and breakfast and it looks like they have three houses. And we had to figure out which house we're staying in. Looks super cute. Yeah. Number one, house number two. House number three is way over there, but you can't see it. Look at this cherry orchard. Oh, 
<laughs> baby cherries. Well, baby cherry trees. Now we're heading up to scope out tomorrow where the bride is getting ready, where the reception is, where the ceremony is and all that. So I get a good feel for the little neighborhood before I get there tomorrow and go in blind. There's more cherry trees over there too. Man, they're serious about their cherries. It's just like Georgia peaches. All right, this is where I'll be tomorrow, right on the water for bride preps and ceremony. I see they've already got the um, benches, benches set benches. up for the ceremony. That's so it's gonna be a nice wedding. Now we're gonna head over to the reception area. Um, this is the bride's mom's house? Yeah. We are now at the Willowbrook. I don't even know what it's called. Event facility. And that's where we, the reception will be. I'll show you guys that real quick, but it looks like they have ice cream, so <laughs> we're all getting out of the car for I go in for a walk. Ooh, that sounds good, it's not. <laughs> Watch mama. Smell it? Mm, smell the red one. She's closing her eyes like, don't <laughs> let it touch me. Is this where they're having a reception? Yep. Yeah. Maybe. There's where the wedding's gonna be. That is so cute. Cool. This is the whole reason we all got out of the van. <laughs> Look at these rocks. We ended up getting some gelato. I got white mint and chocolate. I got salted caramel. Now these are more appropriate sizes as compared to the parlor. The parlor. <laughs> Me want this Jeep. I don't want Look at those racing seats. Looks like he put Chevy like SS seats in there. Said. Now we're walking down, we heard music. So we're gonna go find out where it's coming from by the water. After a picture. First, a selfie. They're getting it. Looks like we got to the little band right as they were ending, so now we're by the water. And it's super clear. Guys, this is Pier, Michigan. <laughs> Kristen and I are admiring how clear and beautiful this water is here. You can see right to the bottom, and it's probably like five feet deep or more. That's more. That's like 10 or 12. Um, we're admiring that because there's five lakes in Michigan, in the Great Lakes, and some of them are more murky than others. This one obviously is more clear. But it might be just because it's like so still, you know? We found an old pirate ship. Our mateys. It's Madeline. So, we just chatted with people of an old boat from what, like 1700s or 1800s? And they were out on the water when the bad storm hit, so they came in. They said they were clear. like hooked up um, on their safety harnesses and they tethered. Had Here, let's stop for a second. Tethered to the <clears throat> sides of the boat. They also said that Tim Allen lives up here somewhere and he owns a boat at this pier trying to figure out which one it is. The band's back on. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Hazel, where's the smile? We're, we're leaving the band area. It's getting late. It's already 9 p.m. and Hazel's like wide awake. She's wired. Um, but I just saw this Tribune ice cream and eatery. Show by thumbs up. How many of you think we should be ice cream connoisseurs? Just go around tasting all the ice creams in Michigan. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> all right, here's the B&B. I'm very cozy. Upstairs. And this is our room. Kristen's gonna be excited for this. A popcorn station. I love popcorn. There's a cat with a mouse, and Sean's letting the mouse crawl up his leg. The mouse is taking refuge on me. Poor mouse is probably so exhausted. Oh, he's just like flipping over playing dead. Hey, leave that little poor guy alone. It's probably why you're so healthy, though. You're strong, kitty. Look at that mouse. The mouse plays He's dead. Gonna be dead. Get him, kitty. <laughs> it's like, don't get my advice. I love cats. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, Kristen's going to take you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what she has planned, but I have a wedding to shoot. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy Hazel's little dancing footage? She, oh my gosh, that was so Kristen fun. Kristen taught her how to dance. That was so cute. Everybody loved her there. Like, we didn't even show how yeah. two, a couple kids were dancing. They were in the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, a bunch of old ladies loved her. Yeah. So it was so fun. So I'm going to get editing this vlog because I don't want to stay up too late. I got an early morning tomorrow and a big long day, 12 hour shoot day. So wow. I'm heading to bed. I also want to say that I got teary-eyed when he, when Hazel was dancing. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's my baby!" Yeah. But anyway. All right, so we'll Good see night. you guys tomorrow. Bye.